Welcome to November. So since this is the month of Thanksgiving, we are going to do a gratitude type of focus reading. Um, so number one, what are the general blessings that we're harvesting this month? Number two, what do I need to be grateful for in regards to health? career, finances, relationships, and then further um, from relationships, like how can I better express gratitude to others in my life? Um, we're going to look at what we should be thankful for in our love relationships or, you know, on our journey to finding those. And then how do I better express, you know, gratitude there as well? Um, looking at our spiritual and personal development path, what are the areas of um, thanks that we should be giving? there and then how do I better express gratitude to myself because you know hashtag self-care um, so this is gonna be a longer reading than usual for November but let's get started <laughs> Virgo what are the general blessings that you are harvesting this month and they say well we're trying to give you blessings, but you're not noticing and you're not seeing it. And frankly, that's your choice. So it's kind of like Virgos, wake up, pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the opportunities and the blessings that, you know, the spirit world is trying to give you because they are trying to give you something good. Um, so what should you be grateful for in regards to your health? They're saying that, um, you know, things are going pretty well. Everything that you need should just be given to you. And then it's also kind of this energy of the more that you give, the more you're going to get back. So the more that I exercise, for example, in November, the more benefits, like it's for whatever reason, it's like whatever effort I'm putting in, it's potentiated this month. So if usually, let's say I jog a mile every day and it, um, it helps me lose a half a pound every week. Maybe this month doing the same routine will help me to lose two pounds every week or something like that. It's something about the effort that you put into your health it comes back to you in larger quantity than usual in the month of November. So maybe um, you go and lift weights and usually you don't see tremendous results or it takes a long time. It's like, this month, you see, you know, that your biceps get way bigger, you get super buff with the same amount of effort, okay? Um, what are the blessings that are coming for you in regards to career? They're saying you already know what is coming for you, um, and it's just that if it's not here yet, or if it doesn't come in November, it's because the details are being worked out. But it is in regards to kind of what you were hoping for in on the path in your career. So maybe you're hoping for a promotion and you've kind of heard that you're going to be given that instead of a different colleague. And it's just that they're working out the final details before that's formal. Okay. So what are the blessings that are coming for you in regards to your money? And they're saying there's not really any new money coming in for you, but... There is a different way of looking at money that you, maybe your mindset's going to shift to your advantage. It's like whatever kind of investments that you've made, whether those are actual investments or um, you know investments of your time, maybe you're starting a new business or something like that, even though they might not be here yet, you can start to see that they're drawing nearer, that they're drawing closer. You can see how things are going to start working out for you um, if they're not already showing up. Now, in regards to relationships that are non-romantic, what should we be thankful for in November? And they're saying you already know about that. Um, specifically, you should be thankful that you have choices, uh, that you don't just have, you know, your work colleagues as friends and these are the only people I know, therefore my, they're my friends, but they're not really friends because we have nothing in common and they're fucking boring, but they're like the only people I know and without them I'd be lonely. They're like, yeah, you have choices, okay? And that's a good thing. Um, but are you spending time with them? Are you using them? And they're like, some of, some of those relationships, if they're newer, they're taking a long time to grow and it might be frustrating you. So some of you are kind of feeling lonely this month, but you can go and find new friends that are like-minded with you. They could start as online friendships in like a certain kind of interest group or even like joining something like Meetup. It's like the people are out there for you that are like-minded that would be good friends for you. It's um, 
and you're not stuck with, you know, the people that you grew up with or the people that you work with or things like that. Okay, so how do you appreciate those friends that you actually do want to keep around, that you cherish and you treasure? And they're saying, um, by making sure that whatever kind of issues or troubles you've had with them in the past, that you're moving on from those, that you're kind of like learning your lessons and you're saying, okay, but from now on, we're going to communicate this way and trying to keep the peace. And it's not to say that Virgos are um, trouble starters. I don't usually pick that up. Um, but it's like, let's just focus on the things that are going right. Like, let's focus on the positives in our relationships and really celebrate that. And that might be something important in regards to our family relationships. Thanksgiving is coming. We might have to run into them. And it's just like, okay, it's all water under the bridge. Let's just have a good time, right? Um, how can we express gratitude to these people um, and they're just saying understanding that it's similar to what we had with health here whatever we put into our relationships we're going to get back like up to six times um, the amount so if I go out of my way to make sure that I'm kind and welcoming and loving to the people that I might have to deal with this season um, they're going to be extra extra super kind and loving and welcoming to me. And so it's a good investment in um, the way that we're treating others. We're going to be treated like that, but better. <laughs> so keeping that in mind, you know, and it's not to say you don't typically treat people well, but this is extra incentive this month to do so. Um, if you are a single Virgo, what do you have to be thankful for? And they say, be thankful that you're not tied to a shitty relationship. There's that one that you feel like you can't escape. They say, um, and that at any point in time, you can have sex with whoever you want. Any hottie walks by and you're like, hey, are you single? Yeah, you are. You you, you want to hit it? <laughs> like that option is on the table for you. And maybe that's not what you're into. But if it is what you're into... It's there. They're saying some of you are like feeling really worried and stressed out about being single and like, oh man, I'm never going to find the right person for me. I'm always going to live alone, that kind of thing. They're like, chill with those thoughts because they're not helping you find a partner. How is that helping you in any way? Fucking stop, okay? Now, um, anything else about singles? They're like, look, some of you, it's like your soulmate, like your life partner is right there. And some of you are probably going to meet that person this month. Some of you are not going to. Um, and for those of you who are like, oh, I think I might know who they are. It's not a person that you're meeting at work. It's not a colleague. Um, but most of you already kind of know that. They're saying like there is a lot of happiness um, in the future for you with your partner, you know, maybe a kid, maybe some pets, positive changes coming your way. But you have to get out of that mindset of like it's never going to happen for me or for real it's never going to happen for you. Okay. Now, for those of you who are um, in coupled situations, what's up? They say some of you are going to um, leave these relationships and then others of you are going to stay in the relationship, but you're getting to this place where it's like more calm and peaceful. Like if you've been arguing, things just get a little bit easier. We know a little bit more about each other and about what each other's buttons are and we decide not to push them. What they're saying is... Um, Really kind of thinking about your relationship in a very detailed way is important for you this month and that things can change quickly into um, like a better relationship. Things can be more exciting. Your sex life can get better. Like a lot of really fun and exciting things can happen for you um, without having to like take a trip somewhere, without having to spend money if we're just really, really focused on the things that we enjoy about our relationship and letting our partner know that. Um, they're saying, you know, for some of us, we have a little bit of a confidence crisis. Like we're not really, um, sort of radiating this powerful, like sex goddess, like I'm so wonderful energy that you did when you first attracted your mate to you. So you have to remind yourself of that energy, like how amazing it felt to be coupled up in the first place and start kind of glowing that out to better your relationship. Um, they're saying this is a good investment for both you and your partner and the trajectory of your relationship moving forward. Now, in regards to our spirituality or our personal growth path, what should we be thankful for? And they're saying, um, feel really confident and proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back for how much work you've done and how successful you've been at like emotionally maturing and growing up and, you know, all of these life lessons that you've learned and have applied. 
they're saying that, um, you know, for many of you, you might be thinking like, oh, maybe I need to learn more about this, buy a book on this, listen to this course or whatever. And they say, you know, not so much really. They say this is a time to like really think about what it is that we've actually learned and where we've come from to where we are now and how much we've grown and really celebrate that. Um, anything else for Virgos this month? They say some of you are a little bit um, worried. You're kind of in this anxious mode. Um, and they say, so let's be careful where we're in, investing our time and our energy and our thoughts because what we think about, we bring about. And so if we're focused on things that are negative or cause us stress or anxiety, those things are going to pop up in our life. They say the biggest challenge for a lot of you is stress or anxiety over moving jobs or moving home. Um, so what they're saying is maybe right now is not a good time to even think about those things. Maybe we want to readdress that later, maybe after the Mercury retrograde, for example. Um, but they say, actually, you know when would be a great time to think about this? When the new year starts. Not right now. Okay? I love you so much. See you in December.